I was born in 72, so my prime time was the early 80s, mid 80s for like brain warping from the television. So I find myself, when I look back at that, like being in school and like just doodling on everything, stupid pictures on the sides of the paper, or there was pictures of people just drawing over what was on the page and just like constantly just like doodling. I don't know where it came from. I just kind of like all over the board or like some of these other ones where I'm just like, ha, ah, like a beer can skateboarding. Like that's like a self portrait almost. Like I called that one, like the things I think about when I'm not doing them. It's basically like having a couple beers and skateboarding. Like, you know, back in the day, like when I was in my thirties and stuff like that's what I like to do. Like that was my fun thing. I've been a skateboarder since I was 13. I still do it. So it's like, of course art comes into that too because skateboarding just doing it and how creative skateboarding is but then the art aspect like all skateboard art is like something that's programmed in my brain and is probably in some of my paintings subliminally I get stuck on like the process of learning how to paint something like painting the color of lightning and then like getting really stoked on the pleasure of painting that certain thing and then I just like get stuck on it where I know I'm moving around but like splatters like, like constantly like adding stuff and splatting things on, I don't know. For a while I was painting laser beams out of people's eyes or if I painted a bird, they'd be shooting lasers out of their eyes. Like I always get stuff from the thrift store of like Jesus sitting on a rock and I painted like a little spaceship with little alien tentacles coming out and shooting eyes at him. And that one like sold instantly. It's funny how like those ones are always ones that sell really fast that has some kind of like, I painted another one for makeshift. It was for a show called Cringe. And I had, that was like the only time in my life where I had a hard time showing something that I painted. It was like this big, like rotten, with like sores all over it and just totally gross. It's like the grossest thing I've ever painted. And I was just like, even my other half was like, uh, I don't know if you should show that. It sold opening night. I have had some people come in the studio on Art Walk walk in and look at something and totally turn around and just walk right out. And I don't know if it's a scoff or if it's a, uh, some people don't even come in. They'll like, the door will be open. There'll be people in here. There won't be any people in here. They'll just walk in and they'll like look in and just give you like that weird scowl. Like, ew, like what is this? Like I had an old couple come in they really liked my work and she's like, do you do like psychotropic drugs or psychedelic drugs? And I was like, no. And she's like, really? Like, how do you think of this stuff? And I was like, I don't know. I just do it, because I'd do it if I didn't get paid. I don't sit here three or four nights a week thinking I'm gonna sell this painting. I'm doing it because I've had a terrible day at work, or I'm just going through crap, and or I'm in a good mood and I'm painting something because I'm happy. It's just, it's weird that like, not to get serious, but like, it's like what I need to do to stay sane like when I don't paint I feel weird like I've never been one to like talk myself up I guess or like self promote where I'm just like I'm the best I'm the artist blah 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 it's like in 2013 I actually like I don't know who voted for me or who did it but I got best artist or whatever that's supposed to mean and I remember going into Ishka's and Logan was like "Ooh, the best artist of Bellingham's here or something and I I feel like kind of like a dork I don't know like there's so many you know you could be doing the same thing somebody else is doing but it doesn't mean that you're better than them I don't know I think it's funny but I thought I was pretty cool too because uh, they came and took a picture and I'm sitting in this big leather chair that I have out there and my son was just born so I have him like strapped across my chest it's just like this badass picture where I'm holding the beer and my little kid, which I think that's the best part of the whole getting that award or being nominated that is just that hopefully my kid will look back and be like, hey, my dad wasn't such a dork. <laughs>